Okay, so we are now at uh, part C. Add angel fish as a new sprite. So go to the sprite area, open the folder for sprite area and add angel fish. Open. Now, as you can see, the angel fish is so much bigger than what you want. What we want is only this size. It's about the size of the sail. So I don't want the sprite to be so big. So what you can do is you can... So in order to resize the angel fish, you go to looks and you can choose the one that says set size. And I think maybe setting it to maybe let's try 30. Try 30, press enter and then you click on this. Uh, I think it's fine. So I'm going to change to 30. Set size, yes. Okay. So now the next step is to look at the aquarium video. I already show you the aquarium video. Okay. Part E. Set the costume center of sales such that it's at the correct position. So put, let's go back to the sales. Okay. Now bring the sales on your stage. Huh? Bring your sail down to the center over here. Of the top of the building. Okay. And let go. So this is the point where you want the sail to go to. So now, since you bring it there already, the motion go to XY will automatically update itself. Automatic. Because you brought it there. Okay? So these are the actual values. Negative 115 and negative 97. Your value may be different a little bit from me. Never mind. As long as the sale is over here. Yes, you want it lower, can, and then the number will change. So you just put it. Okay? So now, we want the cell to rotate. Before we make it lo rotate, please check the letter. Oh, no. Let's go to the costume of the cell. Costume. We need to set the center of rotation. Okay? The center of rotation for the sail is on the top right. So one more time, select the sail, go to costumes, then all the way to the right side, there's a cross. Click, and you should see this, okay? Now, you should put the center of this thing to the center of the sail. You should match. Okay, like that. Can you move it so that it's the center? The two centers must match or else the, the sail will rotate very weirdly. Okay, once you let go, the sail may move a little bit, but never mind. Now let's go back to the sail scripts. So scripts are found here. So script, one more time. You were at the costume trying to make the center exactly at the center. Then now you go back to scripts. Okay? Okay, let's see. Part F says that when the green flag is clicked, the sail is rotating continuously, means non-stop, at the underwater windmill. Okay, so at the underwater windmill, so now continuously means forever. Go to control, forever, turn, motion, turn. Did they say clockwise or anti-clockwise? Didn't say, right? So you watch the video. Sorry, the video is here. Turn clockwise. Okay, so turn clockwise. So like this. Okay, let's click on this and see if it works or not. Okay, now it's very weird. I, I need to change my position of this. Stop. Should be on top a bit. Okay. Okay, it works for me. If it's too fast, you may want to add a control. Just now you learn add delay time so that it will slow down. Like that is too slow, ah. Huh? don't go so slow. 0 0.5. Okay. 
or if you think it's too slow, 0 0.2. But if you think that you don't even need to wait 0 0.2, then you let it be, okay? So this is what I feel will look like the video. Okay, next. The next line says, when the green flag is clicked, the angel fish. So, must go to angel fish. Everyone click on the angel fish. Click on the angel fish. The angel fish is moving continuously in the stage and bouncing off the edges. So, let's look at the angel fish again. The angel fish move up at the angle, move down at the angle, move left at the angle. Every time when you touch the edges, it will bounce. Did the angel fish go upside down? Never, right? Never go upside down. So, I'm going to teach you. First of all, you can go to letter I, information, choose left, right. Information, choose left, right. Because the angel fish never go upside down, only left and right. Okay. Now, we need to use when green flag is clicked because the question says when green flag is clicked, the injured fish must uh, move continuously. So, plus, this is what it is. Okay, set size is here. Put it below. Now, I need it to move at a angle. So, point in direction. Let's try this. Point in direction, let's say 45 degrees. Okay, so you move at the angle. So it doesn't just move X and Y axis. So do you want it to forever move? Okay, forever. Now, there's something called forever move, but let's try forever move. Then we try this first. If it doesn't work, we'll change our strategy. Then under motion, there's something called if on big on the edge you bounce. If on edge bounce. Okay, I'm gonna try it so that I know whether I'm correct. Whoa. Okay. But do you think it's correct? Can right? Because it's 45 degrees, uh is bouncing off the edges, that's what they want. So if it's too fast, then you can Okay, there's two ways. Do you want to do? There are two ways, huh? If it's too fast, you may want to reduce the steps. Or you may want it to have a wait one second or something like that. Okay, which one you want? Okay, you choose which one you want. For me now, I want to try the wait one second, see what it, how it is. Not much of a difference. I throw it away. I use the move five steps. Okay, I think I'll just choose this. It's simpler. Okay, always stick to a simpler script. Okay, stick to a simpler script. Now, save your work and you can submit now.